What's up, everybody? It's episode 12. We're bringing you back another episode of Naruto Shippuden, also in the storm for beginner to master tutorials. If you have never heard of this series before, it's just basically I choose one character out of the whole roster. I tell you guys everything I know about that single character. Basically, I had to go from a beginner to a master, and today we are going to do Shikamaru Nara. Now, this character is... He, he really makes you feel like you're playing him in the show. I would put it that way. He, make, he makes you feel you're playing him in the show, which means Shikamaru in the show is very smart, intelligent, and strategic. And when you play him, to play him the right way at least, it makes you feel like you're the person playing the show. It makes you feel intelligent. And that's exactly what why I like this character so much. He's 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 a thinker. This is this is for this is for people with strategic minds out there, people who play chess. This is the this is him. This is Shigemaru. So I'm gonna have a good time explaining of what this man can do. He can do a lot of cool stuff. And this is the character you guys requested. But uh, make sure to tell me who else you want me to do down in the comments below. And make sure to like down below if you did enjoy yourself. But without further ado, let's get started. All right. So Shigemaru is a full on. Okay, what is wrong with Naruto right now? Naruto, you okay? Naruto? Alright, I'm just gonna guard off. Apparently he he's 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 having I don't know seizures or something. But as I was saying, Shikamaru is a full-on defensive type character. Now what I mean by defensive type characters, I mean Shikamaru is the type of person you want to go into when uh, you yourself has no subs. So he can keep the opponents off of you. He can link up combos for your attacker. He can push the opponent back. He, he has great support. He has a good air combo. All the choice of a good defensive type character, which Shikamaru actually is. And I'm explaining to you a lot more stuff as long as we get into about Shikamaru. So first, here is his, we're gonna go through the combos first. So here's his neutral combo. There we go. Go to a strike back. There we go, there we go. Is his down combo. There we go, and here is his up combo. Along with air combo. Alright, he rebounded, Never mind. Air combo. Alright, so let's go through these one by one. So, first let's go with the, uh, let's go with the neutral combo first. So the neutral combo is pretty much the fastest combo. So this is a combo you want to be doing rapidly. And I say this more often than the down combo, do this combo more often than the down combo because the down combo does do more damage than the neutral combo, but it's slower and it doesn't do that much damage. It just do a little bit more damage than the neutral combo. So that means the neutral combo still does a hefty amount of damage. So I would say do the neutral combo more often just because you got speed and power with it. And plus if you have a strike back with you, you can do even more damage off of the air combo or pretty much anything else you want to combo into from the strike back. The down combo does do a hefty, a really good amount of damage. So I was just using this only if you if the character has uh, if your opponent has no subs. Use the down combo only if the opponent has no subs, because that's the best time when to use it. And I don't recommend using it at any other time because uh, any other one it'll be too long and they're gonna sub it immediately. So the up combo, the up combo is actually fairly good. I'm gonna tell you guys why. Right there, so you see where Shikamaru throws a little parachute right there. And see, it brings them towards me. It brings them towards me. And this also does affect them when they're subbing. So if they sub anywhere near my up combo, and I throw these parachutes out, if they sub behind me, they still get hit by these uh, um, parachutes of kunais. They still get hit by it, which is freaking awesome. So I just, you actually want to be, you actually want to be using this up combo a lot when they're um, trying to predict their subs trying to bait it out and then use the parachute to pull them towards you even when they already have sub so you're going to have to practice this a lot in practice mode let me see if I can try to let me see if I can try to um, show you guys alright sub now sub computer okay he needs to sub a little bit a little bit faster Uh, a little bit faster. Come on, man. I just I just want to show this off. Can I show this off, please? There you go. Sub this. 
man. Yeah, I don't think I'm able to show it off because I can't really get the computer to sub it like how I want it. But yeah, if you can bait this up, the, this this little kunai parachutes of the up combo off, you can actually bait their sub and make the kunai um, go towards the person even when they're already subbed. Just want to show that. And this is um, now we're going to the up combo. I'm uh, not the up combo. The air combo. The air combo is really good on Shikamaru. Not because of the damage, just just because he throws out those little bombs in the air. That this is that's really good too. And actually, wait a minute. There was yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I forgot. The, I forgot all about this with Shikamaru. Somebody, somebody taught me this. Um, I can't. I can't seem to do it. But there was this thing somebody taught me you can do uh guard break cancel. No, I don't think I don't think it works like that. I think I'm doing it wrong. Yeah, I think I'm doing it wrong. But, but what I was saying, Chikamaru's air combo is extremely good because of those kunai he throws. So, like for example, those these kunai, if you if they sub behind you, they still get hit. Not like oxen kunai. Uh, paper bombs. If they sub behind you, they still get hit by those paper bombs. Now let me see if I can try to bait this one out. No, I did it. Did it correctly. Let me try one more time. All right, so now. Don't attack me! What the heck? What the? Ugh. It was so perfect too. Come on. All right, sub right now. Why are you attacking me? What the? What is wrong with this computer? I did not put attack on you. The computer should be off. What the? All right. I, it seems like Nark doesn't want me to show the air combo, so I, I guess you're gonna skip it. But you, you can just take my word for it that um, Shikamaru's air combo, if you can bait out again, you can actually bait a sub by these two uh, paper bombs. They can hit from the a person behind you if they do sub behind you. And also, it's a good um, switch in for another character. So if you do this, all right, let me try one more time. If you do, oh man, I can't do it. If you do that, it allows you to switch out of another character for free because the paper bombs gives you cover. I just want to show you. I just want to show you because these. This is why I like to do a lot of times as Shikamaru use these paper bombs for cover and then. Go to somebody else because it's, it's a free switch out to another character. All right, so now we're gonna go into his tilt and his grab. So it's, it's let's go to his grab first. His grab is an upward grab. That means it hit people in the air, and it actually has a very large hitbox in the air. So here's the combo I actually recommend using for this grab. Right there on the six hit of the um, neutral combo. Now the reason why I say do this on the six hit is because I think. I think this one is quick enough. Or not the fifth hit on the neutral combo. I think this is quick enough that your opponent will not see it and will not sub on it. Just like that. And plus it does a hefty amount of damage to do. And you can you, know, you guys can make up your own um, grab cancel. This is just my favorite one I like to do when I'm in battle. And plus it leads to a try back as well. So you should probably take this to your advantage. Yeah, Shikamaru has a lot of strike back combos he can do. And here is his tilt. So his tilt is a two hit combo where he gets out little shadows and then use them to pull them back and then punch them into a strike back. Just like that. So this will not work most of the time because your opponent most of the time will be subbing. Or not subbing, will be guarding. Because as you can see right here, it doesn't really do anything what is wrong with Naruto? Stop fidgeting. You see right here, it doesn't really do anything to Naruto. It just pushes them back if they're guarding. So why so why I recommend you doing most often with Shikamaru is linking up to the first hit only, not the combo itself. It's like this. Just like that. So so once you use the tilt, you immediately switch into another character and then use that character instead because it stuns them long enough and Sends long enough for to do something else. Just like that, see? You, you gotta do it very rapid. That means you gotta practice this in practice mode. Very rapid. 
because Shigemaru's tilt is not the best in the world, but it's not the worst. And that's pretty much it for this tilt. Like, I can't really figure out, can't really do anything else with this tilt. Besides, if you get off, you can get a strike back and do something else with that strike back. So, yeah, you can do that. But that's all I can find with this tilt. Alright, so next we're going to his Jutsu and Ultimate Jutsu Cancel, which is the Shadow Stitching Jutsu and the, uh, well, his Ultimate Jutsu, Shadow Pool Jutsu. So, the Shadow Stitching Jutsu is really not the best for Shikamaru besides for ending off combos. So, you can do something like this. You, you can do that, or you can do the, with the down combo. Well, the uh, uh, the Nutricon works better, but you can do that. But um, I think this Jutsu for Shikamaru is extremely good for support. Shikamaru's Jutsu is really good because it gives you a lot of cover, and if the hitbox stays there, so if you stay in the shadows, they can't come in here because they're gonna get hit by the shadows. So it gives you a little bit of cover you can go into, which is really useful in battle. It's so useful. I think it blocks all juices that comes in here too, all projectiles. So I suggest you highly suggest that you use Chicken Marvel for support because it's it's awesome. It's it's too good to waste. It's really good. But you can also use it for the um ending off of your neutral combo, like I just told you. And I did that wrong. Or you can do this and drop with your strike back. There we go. You can do that because that does do a little more damage than uh, everything else in total. So yeah, you, you can pick which one you want to do because there's many ways you can use this Jutsu. But I mainly primarily use it for support because it's, it's, it's really good support. Alright, next we're going to go on to his Ultimate Jutsu Cancel. So his Ultimate Jutsu Cancel has two cancels to his, to his uh, Jutsu. One is easy, one is hard. So I'm going to show the easy one first. The easy one is the fifth hit of the Nutri Combo. Actually, let me turn this on. There we go. There we go. So this is so this is the fifth hit of the neutral combo. So show you one more time. Just like that. Okay, boom. So this is the easy version. So as you see, it doesn't do really that much damage, and it's very easy to combo into. So this is the hard version. There you go. So you have so in the hard version you have to do the up combo, backflip, and then use your jutsu. This is this does more damage because you're resetting the combo. Just like that. So you can pick and choose whichever you one you want to do, but the hard version that I'm giving you right now does do more damage. So if you want to match you want to do more damage, you probably want to match with this one. But if you want to do an easy one, probably you want to do the first one that I showed you, the easy version. Alright, and last but not least, we're gonna go into his awakening. Alright, so basically in this in his awakening, Shikamaru's moveset is pretty much the same. Pretty much the same, he has the same grab, got the same um, tilt. But the only thing different is his left trigger and his right trigger and his jutsu, which is the shadow pinning jutsu. Which is is much quicker and is is is, is really a lot of damage. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of damage. And also his uh, explosive parachutes that he has, which is floating paper bombs that go in the air. Now, here's the way how Shikamaru works. You can use these parachutes pretty much for anything. You can use it for going in, you can use it for extending the combos, you can use it for getting out of a situation like this, getting out of something when they sub. Because these these parachutes home in on you. They home in on you wherever you are. So even if they sub behind you, they still go behind you and go for the opponent. Which is pretty good. So you can use something like this. When you're in a combo, get out. Get out of your free card. We want, we, we want to go in. Go in. There we go. There we go. You use something like that. He's he, you gotta play very smart with 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 Shikamaru. But 
all right so here's hey, here's my little thing here's my little um thing i recommend you doing with shikamaru when you want to get some really good damage off first you enter in with the parachutes dash in use your combo not the down combo not the down combo. i messed up break your shield there you go so first use your neutral combo so okay why the heck are you not guarding guard naruto good lord There we go. Okay, so let me show you one more time. If Naruto were freaking guard. There we go. So that on the last hit the sh of the channel pinning Jisoo, it should break the opponent guard after you do the neutral combo. Okay, if, if Naruto would just put up your guard, I can show you guys. Now the guard is on red. Yeah, let me break it first. Oh my god, Naruto, what the heck is wrong with you? Are you like stupid or something? What's going on? I gotta break this guard again. There you go. Hopefully this time it'll work. There we go. So I did the full on combo. I'm not doing that mess again because Naruto's freaking jittery right now. So if you do the neutral combo and the Shadow Pinion Jutsu while they're both guarding, it should break the guard, allowing you to do something else. Now, when you do break your, when you do break their guard, you want to be doing the down combo a lot because it does the most damage. Do the down combo, and right after the down combo, use one of your parachutes to reset your thing, like that. You want to reset it, and then do another combo with it. So, let me show you. First, have Naruto heal up a little bit, and then I'm gonna turn the guard off, and let's see how many. If you get two down combos off, let's see how much damage that does. Reset. Look at that. That does a bar and uh, about 10%. That's just 110, 110 um, damage right there. So yeah, you want to be doing that most of the time. You want to break your guard with the technique I just showed you with the down, with the neutral combo and the shadow pinning jutsu. Then use the down combo. Then use one of your parachutes and then re and then do that mess all over again. Because the parachutes make it so that they can't go anywhere. So yeah, you're gonna play really smart. And if you're ever in a jam, remember you have two parachutes. So you can use one for extending your combos and one for um, getting yourself out of a predicament when they do sub. So that's pretty much Chikamaru's whole thing. You gotta play smart with him. You gotta. You gotta think of what you gotta do, but uh, and it takes a bit of practice. But I'm pretty sure once you get the hang of them, you, it's, it's gonna become really easy. So yeah, that's whole that's the whole Shikamaru thing right there. If you did enjoy this episode, make sure to leave like down below and make sure to tell me who else you want me to do for the next episode. My name is Zubin12. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.